today on the workbench is a Samsung Galaxy A70 which as usual it's been on the heat pad at 75 degrees Celsius and now I'm using a fin pry tool to open it up now I did stuff up and accidentally, accidentally record this footage at 8 times slow-mo which I'll just skip to that footage now as you can see very slow but I'll bring that back to regular speed and continue on from there. So now that I'm back to regular speed, I found that getting the back cover off the A series to be a lot easier compared to the S series. I believe that's because the back on these ones is plastic, where the S series is glass. So you do have a lot more flex and can actually bend the back of it considerably more to get into it which overall I find on most phones typically they live in a cover so the plastic back is perfectly fine perfectly acceptable glass I just see that as another fancy way to drop to make the phone feel more premium but at the same time increase the risk of dropping it because you can't actually grip the phone properly in cooler weather but anyway I'll just keep working around the outsides of this there's minimal risk to really damaging too much inside of it just keep working your way around the outer perimeter and you should be able to get it off with relative ease from there. So I will just fast forward this bit as you can kind of understand what needs to be done here. There we go, the back cover's now been removed. Another thing you should also do is remove the SIM tray prior to you proceeding too far with this. Then from here, it's a matter of removing quite a few Phillips head screws, all fairly typical of a Samsung phone. And now if all those screws removed, I will, I will proceed to remove the SIM tray here. I did find it took a while to find the right sort length SIM tray remover to actually get to it. Most of the usual ones I have kicking around were no good. But anyway, with that all removed, the SIM tray out, I'm going to do a little pry around the plastic frame of the phone between the screen and the frame. And that should be able to pop it off. Uh, not much luck here. Oh, there we go. So this one was very straightforward to separate. Bam, we're in. One interesting thing I found with this model as well. Top left, or underneath the cameras, we have the battery connector. We've got the vibrating motor on the right hand side, that circle. In the middle we got this the uh, cable connecting the main board to the daughter board but also on the daughter board itself which is the charging port right down the very bottom of the phone it has the connection to get to the display which is weird typically that would connect directly to the main board but on this particular model it's routed down the very bottom the reason why this particular phone is here today is that it got liquid damage and shorted out, no power, no nothing. So being that the moisture indicator up the top near where the cable or near where the battery connector is is white, I'm assuming that it didn't get wet down there, got wet down the bottom of the phone. So I'm going to pull out the charge board down the bottom and have a bit of a look. 
Now down the bottom here that I'm disconnecting is what I believe to be the in-screen fingerprint reader. Not entirely sure, not sure if this, this model has that, but that would be my guess with this one. Disconnect the antenna cable. There we go, now I should be able to lift out this daughter board. Now I'll be suspecting that the majority of issues I do see on this phone will either be cracked screens or this charging port having issues. But anyway, as I'm looking at this, I've noticed that the LC or the display connector has a bit of black on there. On the right hand side, halfway down that connector. So what I'm going to be doing there. And that's the same on the display connector down the bottom here. So what I'm going to do from here is give it a bit of a clean with some isopropyl alcohol and inspect the rest of the board, then reassemble it from there. So a little screen swap will be fairly similar to what I've already done, except you'll also be removing the main board and the battery and migrating that hopefully to a new display frame assembly or you may be fully removing the display and reinstalling in, in the existing frame. So there are other possibilities of this repair. But anyway I'm going to head off and let the video play out from here. It will be the rest of the reassembly and also given these are clean I was able to stick it on charge it was sitting at around, actually it was sitting on 0% this phone. So as soon as I plugged it in on the charge, it lit up, said it was charging. It since turned on and seems to be reasonably functional. Haven't tried out microphones or anything like that, but it is powering up perfectly fine. The touch interface is going okay. The display is okay. So from there I'm assuming the rest of it should be fine. But yeah a quick su successful repair. Anyway, I'll see you later and catch you in the next one. Bye.